Okay, hello guys, and this is David Tao showing you how to import your custom character into UDK. This is uh, the final part of the video series. This is part three, and we're going to show you how to put, uh, how to make your character finally the player character. So, what I want you to do is go into your C drive. We're going to open up our UDK folder again. We're going to go to Development, SRC, and UT Game. Now, we've been here before to set the bots up. So, we need to go down. Yeah. Uh, well, in fact, no, we'll make a new file. Uh, if you just make a new text document, and we're going to call this UT uh, UT Player Controller uh, underscore splicer. Right, and if we find where that's gone, UT Player Controller splicer. So, you've made this new file, so now we have to write a bit of code ourselves. So, down here we're going to write class ut player controller underscore splicer extends uh, ut player controller. Right, so that should be alright. Um, it, it's probably best to put a semicolon after that as well. You may not need it, but if it comes up with an error, you, you're not going to know where it is. Right, so we're going to um, go down one again, and we're going to write a new line. We're going to write depends... Uh, not depends, depends on, all as one word, depends on, bracket, ut, uh, ut player replication info, underscore splicer, close brackets and put another semicolon after it, and uh, well, this is it for us. So, we. This is it for this file. But we're going to go save as. Select all files, and down it put dot uc. There we go. So uh, we're going to also make a new file from this. We're going to call it ut. Uh, well, in fact, if you just copy the UT Play Replication Info Splicer and save as UT Play Replication Info Splicer dot UC. Right, and um, we have a bit more code to write in here. We're going to get rid of the depends on. And we're going to have to first change this as well. So, UT player replication info splicer extends UT player replication uh, info. Right. Uh, so, if we go down, the next line of code we have to add is, in fact, yes, the, this is the only line of code, no, sorry, sorry, I've messed this up, right, so, what we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to open this, we're going to find UT player replication info, 
we're going to scroll down to the bottom of it and we're going to copy this default properties section. We're going to paste that into our UT player replication info underscore splicer. And down here where it says char class info class UT game UT family info Landry mail we're going to change that to UT family info splicer mail. Right. Uh, so that's that. So that's that. So we're going to save this. Close that down. Now if you scroll all the way up here, you'll find UT deathmatch. So we're going to create a copy of that, and we're going to rename that as UT Deathmatch underscore Howl. So if we open up our new Deathmatch game, um, to to get UDK to use our mesh as the playable character, we have to make our own game type just to tell it to use that mesh. So in here, there's there's a lot of stuff we don't need in here. So, in fact, you see at the bottom it says default properties and then this short little paragraph here. This is all we need. So, we're going to delete all of this, but make sure you don't delete class UT deathmatch extends UT game. So, yet again, our first portal call here is to change this. So, we go class UT deathmatch, and we're going to change that to UT deathmatch underscore howl extends UT deathmatch. Properties, I'm going to leave acronym as DM. Map prefixes, I'm going to leave as DM. Um, we're going to leave everything else apart from we need to add two new lines of code down here as well we need to add player controller class equals class ut game dot ut player controller underscore uh, splicer and the next thing we need as well is uh, player replication info class equals